Hey there, it's the English Picker here. I've done it again. Bought some more of these charity bag job lots of jewellery. I've got 15, well nearly 16 kilos here. Uh, I've just gone through them all and I pulled out a load of stuff. Uh, I'd say three of the bags were rubbish. One was good and one was amazing. Bizarrely, the amazing one was the smallest one with the lowest quantity in, but some of the stuff I had out of it was brilliant. So here's what I found. Okay, so after lots and lots of sorting, uh, pretty much an entire day of sorting, untwiddling, unwrapping, oh, just lots of faffing, I've still got, you know, around about... I'd say 14 kilos left to costume jewellery. So if I put that back on eBay, I probably will get the uh, £200 that I spent on it back. Um, if I lot it into several different lots, I reckon I can get that. But let me just quickly skim through all the stuff that's got gold and silver in it. All what I'll show you, except for uh, some bits in a second, um, are have been tested as gold and silver. So uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, so all these are silver chains, we've got little ones here, a bit bigger ones, I've no idea about the total weight, some with nice stones in, they're all hallmarked, little bracelets, things with semi-precious stones, this is gold on silver, 800 silver, most of these are 925 necklaces, some with pendants, some with not, some with CZs and little pendanty things, fine ones, and then we've got ones with pearls, this is part of a rosary but it's missing the bottom part, we've got uh, some pearls but this is sterling silver clasp, same with this one, it's a sterling silver and marker seat clasp, I'll probably sell this as a piece, we've got another piece here, a set of matching earrings for it over there, this is sterling silver with moonstone, uh, this should sell really well. These are the pieces that I thought could be silver, but they've turned out not to be today. This is a filigree, but this will still sell. Little New Zealand brooch, that'll sell. And some marker seat and jet silver tone earrings, they'll sell. So this is the main bulk of it here. All the way over here. I paid £200 for all this. Got the good stuff over there. But let's get into this. Okay, we've got... Um, some pearl earrings there with sterling backs, some sterling earrings, pendants galore. Some are only really good for scrap because they've been personalised with initials. St Christopher, filigree ones, more St Christopher, star signs, 800 silver, jet and sterling silver. Weird, crazy, big pieces, little ingots, enamelled ones, all sorts up there, some earrings. Some more, st these are all sterling silver. They're all being tested as well, so that took forever. This is a uh, Macintosh design stuff. I'll get that on one of the chains and uh, sell that as a set. That should sell really well. I'll probably get £25 out of that. Got some gold on silver here. These are gold on silver as well. I thought they could be gold at first, but they are gold on silver. Uh, nice screw-ons. These are the matching earrings for the ones over there. We've got these, these flower ones with sterling backs. Yep. Then we've got some more chains with heavy, heavier bits at the bottom. Mexico 925. And we've got some different rings. I haven't tested the stones yet. All sorts of different ones there. And we've got this piece here with this big weighty bit of sterling, this weighs 10 grams on its own this really chunky sterling silver piece then we've got this hunk here, this chunk of uh, turquoise sterling at the top with little sterling spaces uh, then we've got these with semi precious stones here sterling as well and same with this one, nearly missed this one but it's just very tarnished the metal is so yeah, that one needs fixing, but you know. 
Okay, so here are all the random odd pieces. There are things like this gold on silver clip on. Okay. Uh, sterling. So that'll probably end up getting scrapped. But then there's this, which is, you know, like a semi precious stone carved into a beer barrel with a sterling top. Or bits like this, which is sterling, but a bit too nice to get rid of. I'll probably turn into pendants and things like that and put on the chains and sell them. Most of that will get scrapped. Uh, there's one or two nicer antique pieces which I'm going to do stuff with. Uh, this like this here, that's going to get fixed up. Some other bits here, like that there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there was a couple of coins in there. There's this one from Zambia from 1972. It's just a nickel coin there, and there was a silver coin in there. It's an Iraqi coin. There, I think it's like 72% or 80% silver, something like that. So that's pretty good. And then up here, this is the scrap. There's a little bag here of a broken necklace, which I've got to take apart with uh, turquoise stones. And then there's 120 grams of scrap silver in there. So that's about 65 quid's worth. Some of it can be reused and whatnot, but the rest will get scrapped, melted down, made into a bar maybe. Something like that. There was also some loose stones in there, which is quite nice. There was a... This is amethyst. Sorry about the shakiness there. And then I think it's either a garnet or a ruby. It's really nice cut on it. There, so. There we go. So that was pretty cool. Okay, now onto the good stuff. Onto everybody's favourite stuff the gold. Uh, I've got some real nice pieces of gold out of this lot. Uh, I was quite surprised actually. It was really funny because three of the bags were just rubbish. Three of the bags didn't really have enough silver in to cover the cost of them. One bag was loaded with silver and one bag just had loads of gold in. It had this one in, this one in, um, this piece in, and I think this piece in as well. Yeah, so, and a couple of the other little bits. So every single bag had gold in, every single bag had silver in an abundance. Um, but yeah, everyone had golden, which was uh, interesting, definitely. Uh, I'll show you the little bits first. There's some broken earrings here. Shame I didn't find the other bottom piece for that, but I'll probably go through it all again, see if I can find it. Uh, but most of this lot will probably get scrapped. There's little loops. These have all been tested, or they've got full hole marks. Just more loop things there, little bits from the top. This is a nice chunk here. It's one and a half grams. So that's like eighteen pounds on its own. So that's pretty cool. Little hoop earrings. This here, I, I haven't tested this yet, but it looks like nine carat. Um, bits with missing stones, just nasty bits. Then this was nice. This was was in the silver pile, but you know, and it's a little diamond, white nine carat gold diamond earring. I've tested that. It is a diamond, so. I uh, might try and sell that as a men's one, because some men wear one, catches, things like that. But then some of the best little individual finds, there was um, a little pair here, sunflower ones. Probably try and sell those on their own, they don't weigh much, about half a gram. Then this is nice, this one is 14 karat gold. So a little 14 karat gold, half a gram thing. And then a quarter of a gram thing here, well it's... 0.3 of a gram, 750 gold, so that's 18 karat gold, little backing. And then these are interesting. Uh, this one, I nearly missed the, the chain here. It's a real orangey colour. It's not going to come out in the film. So this is a real orange colour. And uh, I dropped my 9 carat solution on there, nothing. Tried the other solution, and it turned out to be 22 karat gold. So, um... I reckon it's come from this piece, definitely it's come from maybe a piece of Asian jewellery because I know um, the Indian community like their you know, pure gold or high carat gold jewellery so I reckon it's come from something like that so it doesn't weigh a huge amount, I think this weighs, I think it weighs about half a gram something like that, let's have a quick weigh now, see uh, 
what it weighs. Yeah, 0.4 of a gram. So uh, not a huge amount there, and this one obviously is mostly stone. Um, and my scales are broken. So <laughs> let's try that one again. It does this sometimes. Nope, apparently. Oh, there we go. 0.6 of a gram, but the stone weighs quite a bit, so not too sure on that. Uh, they are, it is very thin. Um, so I don't really know. I'll probably end up keeping those as a bit of maybe an investment or something like that. Nice little find though, I've never found such a high carrot, I mean I've never even found 18 carrots, so that's a first, and this is definitely a first. But on to the really good stuff now, now this pearl necklace was a nice one, always, always, always look at pearl necklaces. I've had such great results with pearl necklaces. Now this one, unfortunately I can't sell it as a pearl necklace because the pearls are really worn, they're just battered and the, the string's coming apart, which is a shame. But it's a nice little nine carat um, clasp. They normally weigh around a gram, so that's twelve pound forty there. Then this was a nice find. I'm probably going to end up scrapping it. I think it's American because uh, not many English people hallmark like that. Uh, and it is ten carat because we tend to use nine carat in Europe. Um, and this is a beauty. I was re I was jumping for joy when I found this because it weighs four point six grams. So that's like £52 just in that piece there. So I may try and replace the clasp, but then getting hold of a 10 carat gold clasp is a bit of a faff. So I'll probably just end up scrapping it and taking the 50 quid. Then from the same bag, uh, I nearly wet myself when I found this one as well. Because um, it's really nicely hallmarked up there, Italy 375. So... Again, really nice. This weighs three point seven grams as well, so that's like that's like forty two pounds, something like that. So again, another brilliant thing. Then I have another bag of found this one here. Now the top looked like it could just be junk because you don't often get this kind of top like that, but it's got a full set of English hallmarks on it. So flattened style with the uh, little pearls, and I think these are garnets that are set in here. Really. A dark maroon red so uh, I'll probably go get that one checked out I really need to learn more about gemstones and semi-precious stones really and then the last one was this one here a really nice modern piece it's a uh, cubic zirconia it's not a diamond I wish it was a diamond but it's not little nine carat pendant very in a modern style so that'll sell well fully hallmarked um, weighs about two grams this one weighs nearly three grams so I've got a fair old chunk of gold there, so uh, yeah, really good. I reckon probably, when all said and done, if I piece it out, I'll probably make about £600. I'll I'll sell the rest of the costume jewellery for the, my initial investment, and then if I piece it all out, minus my time and fees, I'll probably make about three to £400, something like that. So uh, it's just taking the time to methodically list it all. It gets a bit much after a while, but you've got to do it, unfortunately. So um, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope for, I've got another opportunity coming up. I've got two weeks to get some money together before this guy's got some more stuff for me. So uh, hopefully I can get some money together and maybe get ten bags. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and get out there and go picking.